You are facing hard time with your first string, with your E string on the violin, A on the viola, or A string on the cello. Stay tuned and I explain you what we can do to make it stronger or a little bit softer sounding. Hello, hello back then. This is Edgar from Cremona, Italy. I'm working every day from early in the morning up to late at night, only on construction of great sounding instruments. If you want to see the instruments, go on my website, look at them and listen to them. I make my living on selling them. You wouldn't believe so. Now let's go to the subject. The problem is all about the sound post and also about the bridge where it's standing. To go a little bit deeper and to explain it better, I take a cello because it's a little bit bigger and it's easier to explain, but violin, cello, viola, it's all the same. It's mechanic. Oh no, what technique freak, I don't want to know it. You have here the bridge on the top. That bridge is in a very specific position. Once this position is correct, inside of the instrument, there is the sound post. If you look into the F hole on the side of the first string, you see there is the sound post. You cannot see it, put some light into it. If you don't have anything, you always have a cell phone. Turn on the light, you put it on the other F hole and then wow. You look into that F hole and you see inside the sound post. What is standing in a clear position? The sound post or the bridge? Actually, both of them. They stand there and they won't move if everything is correct. And now I try to explain it in a better way. Let's see inside or very close how the whole thing looks like. So this here is now the sound post. On top of the sound post, we have the section of the top. And on the top, a little bit towards the fingerboard in that direction, we have the bridge in a very specific position. And in case that position, you don't know it, I made already a video about it and we could make another video about it because it's a pretty important subject. And the right sound post position of where the sound post should be is actually signed or is in theory the thickness of the top in the position where the bridge stands. Then you just flip it over and that's the distance. That's a starting point. Let's say you play now and it is definitely too strong and you want it a little bit more mellow and you don't want this penetrating strong E string, which is just like breaking the glass. Then you can move the sound post slightly back. Slightly means a tiny tip, not a millimeter. You don't need to see it necessarily. It's exactly these tiny moves which make a huge difference. And believe me, these vibrations, they don't know measurements and they don't care if they see how much you move. Just give a tiny tip on the upper part of the sound post. Listen to it. If it's already a little bit better, you can keep on doing. I usually keep on doing up to that point where I have the impression now it's too much and then I go a little bit back and that's something to my mind even with a teaspoon people did it with a fork or whatever they found and it is possible you don't need to buy my sound adjustment kit the distance of that sound post to the bridge is actually the main issue because this top here can now flect a little bit or cannot flect a little bit and the more it is vibrating and moving up and down and absorbing these precious vibrations of the first string, the weaker it will be, the less it is vibrating, the stronger it will sound. You're just playing with the distance, giving more absorption or less. And that makes your first string stronger or slightly weaker. You are curious, right? You want to see everything. Indeed, you see, but 68%, 68 are not subscribed. So we have to change that number. Sorry, we have to change that. So push that button and subscribe. Thanks. This is just a pain. I show you everything and they don't subscribe. Incredible. Now let's listen to a strong E string. Agnese. Oh, 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 okay.
Very good. So now I take the violin and I will adjust the sound post. And now we listen to the sound post a little bit more far away. Allora, come era adesso? Sicuramente è molto più bello, molto più colorato come suono, davvero. Ok. Did you hear that? Do you also agree to this? It's a little bit more colored, a little bit a richer tone on the E string and not anymore this penetrating hard E string. It's obviously a certain instrument of a high quality and it responds in a different level to the sound adjustment. But on your instrument, same thing actually happens. It will be always an E string on a violin, but you take away this sharp edge of the E string and it becomes a little bit more richer in tone, it's more similar to the other strings and it all together fits better to each other. You agree to that? What do you listen to this comparing? How does your instrument sound? Leave your comment below and we see us in the next video. Ciao ciao!